Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about Backrooms level 990, aka the Soundless Subterranean. This one is a great level, very liminal, very scary, and I think you're going to really like it. Actually, I know you're gonna really like it. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Also, go sub to my second channel, Tugly, please, thank you. Backrooms level 990 is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe and unsecure and has a small but dangerous entity count. The level itself is nicknamed the Soundless Subterranean, which is such a cool name by the way, that's, that's cool. And it's physically a pretty cool description. The level appears to be a large cave network that has winding curvy hallways, big open caverns, and rooms that are intercut with some old mine shafts. All over the walls and the ceilings and the floor, there are cobwebs and moss and different kinds of algae growing, and some parts of the cavern caverns are flooded, but they are not just flooded with normal water, they're flooded with liquid pain. Liquid pain is a red liquid in the back rooms that normally hurts you, if you didn't know. Except this liquid pain here is pretty safe to the touch, just don't stay in it for long. The caves that are flooded with it can be anywhere from 10 to 20 meters, or 32 to 65 feet deep. But some of them are even deeper than that, which is really crazy. The caves are not very safe to walk through because they can go from just being a normal cave to being a huge cavern instantly. Or they can go from being just a normal cave to a really claustrophobic tight tunnel instantly. None of it has any reasoning, it just happens like that. And on top of all the stuff I just talked about, there are random mine shafts that intersect into tunnels and caverns here. These shafts are made out of regular wood, but it's all really decayed and really cracked. In fact, the mine shafts are so old and broken that they can just randomly collapse at any time with just the slightest touch, which would be pretty bad if you were walking near or walking under one. The shafts sometimes have railways on them that go over into the actual caves themselves. And there's even some mine carts that have been seen there as well that are full of coal and other types of ore. But it doesn't make any sense that the carts are here because there's no way that humans got here with those carts since some of the things are so claustrophobic claustrophobic, you couldn't have even fit the cart through them, so who knows. Just like some of the other levels of the back rooms, this level has some non-Euclidean effects that just make it dangerous. However, these effects aren't really noticeable until a few miles back in the cave, but once you get back there, you'll notice the pathway is changing and glitching and folding on top of themselves, and you'll sometimes even be going around in circles even though you're going straight. This level is almost fully unexplored because of how many passages and caverns it has, and there's no way to say for sure how big it is, however, some of it has been mapped out, but this could be just a small chunk, who knows. But what is known is that it gets pitch black in the caverns of this level, and some spots are literally so dark that the flashlights you have don't even help, like they don't even light anything at all up. These pitch black areas are the most enigmatic and weird parts of the level. Radio waves and GPS stuff only partially work here, but if you do use a GPS to see your location, it will actually say that you're in Slovenia, which is weird because why would a backrooms level say that I'm in Europe? strange. Compasses aren't even useful here either because the needle never points the right way, so you never truly know what direction you're going in. Pretty much nothing works as it should here, which is one of the reasons it's truly dangerous. Now level 990 is actually really cold, and sometimes there's a fog that will roll through the tunnels and caverns. The ambient noise of the level is a relaxing water trickle with a slight echo. But sometimes that peaceful, relaxing background can be interrupted by really strange disturbances. These disturbances are audio hallucinations and an entity that I'll talk about later. But these audio hallucinations are thought to come from entities deep inside the level. A weird thing that's been seen far into the caves are a few random windows. 
These windows are dusty and old looking, and they're actually in the side of the rock walls of the cave, like they're shoved into them. But you can see through them, and it looks like there's hills and flowers and a sunset behind the windows. These are not full grown window entities that we know of, because they don't try to eat you. It literally just looks like there's the world, the earth, on the other side of this glass window. No matter how much the glass is broken on one of these things, the image of the hills and flowers never changes. Which means it's gotta be some kind of entity, right? I mean, whew. Speaking of entities, there are a few confirmed ones, like facelings, that have been seen wearing old explorer uniforms and hats with flashlights. There's also been a few death moths that have been seen in the huge caverns. But the level exclusive entity is called a Ravager Ape. Now these things are found deep into the caverns and caves of this level and they need to be avoided at all cost. I repeat, they need to be avoided. So a Ravager Ape is kind of like a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot from real life, just way more aggressive. These apes hunt humans, and they're very dangerous because they can seemingly no-clip through walls and floors anytime they want to. So one could literally be in a passageway over to the left of you, sense you, and then jump through the wall to get you. Cool. The good news is, since they're pretty big, they can't get into small parts of the cave, so you could probably just run into a tiny hole and escape them. There are currently no colonies in this level, except there was one that tried to build one, but different events, like falling into liquid pain or falling into a deep cavern and never being seen again, made the group lose too many members, so now there's no one. To enter this level, you can find a hole to jump in in level 100 to be sent here, or you can noclip into a red substance found on level 15 to be sent here. Most of the entrances listed involve nature or the woods in some kind of way, which I find pretty interesting. And to exit the level, you have to find a ladder on a mine shaft in this level and start climbing up it to presumably be sent back to the level you came from. But no one knows for sure because the people just disappear when they're climbing the ladder. So yeah, a huge cave system with random caverns, drop-offs, flooded corridors, and a home to giant apes who hunt humans for food. Sounds great to me. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. And if you are, in fact, still watching, go comment Ravager Brugley so I can throw a heart at your comment and thank you for watching it. And to everybody who's still watching and to everybody who watched this video and watches my channel, thank you all so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you for all you do for me. You have supported me unconditionally and I just really appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. The channel's on the road to 500,000, only 40,000 away. I'm hoping to hit that by Thanksgiving. That'd be awesome. Make sure to go below, comment that keyword, check out Thugly. You, you know the deal. You know everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a great day and I'll see you later.